What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, you know me. I go on over and over again talking about how awesome the Flipper Zero community is, and guess what? Today is no different. I'm especially excited because today I'm going to show off something by some fellow YouTubers. Now, you may remember a few weeks ago I dropped a video on DEF CON badges. One of those was the Super Duper Flipper Flooper by the creator Make It Hackin'. No joke, that line took me like six tries. Well, Make It Hackin has his own YouTube channel, and then he hooked up with another YouTuber named Derek Jameson. He's a phenomenal coder, so they made a perfect match for this project. Well, they came up with none other than this, the Flipboard. So what is the Flipboard? What does it do, and why do I think it's so cool? Well, you're in luck, because I'm going to show you all about it. Let's get at it. Now, the Flipboard has been a project that Make It Hacken has been thinking about and working on for a while now. But writing code and writing apps is hard, and, you know, having a device like this has no usefulness if you can't write a program for it. Well, that's where Derek Jameson comes in. He is a fantastic YouTuber, and he actually goes through and teaches you how to code. So when Make It Hacken approached him with this project, he kind of took it upon himself to make it a learning experience for anybody who got it. So now if you get a Flipboard, you can actually follow along with Derek as he teaches you how to write code for it. And yes, that'll definitely be something that you see in the future. I can't wait, honestly, to try writing my own code for this thing. So let's go ahead and switch to the top down camera and I can show this thing off. So this bad boy right here is the Flipboard. Let's get a little closer and take a look at it. Check this thing out. It's got keyboard keys, which make a really good clicky noise. And then it's a sandwiched together board. It does require some assembly, but it's very easy. Here's the back of it. Gives you just an idea of what the button mapping and things are. But yeah, it's a super, super cool board. So obviously that begs the question, what does it do? Well, it does a lot of things. So let's check out the first function, which is gonna be Flipboard Blinky. So let's load that app up and boom, all of a sudden the lights turn on. So these are individually addressable color changing LEDs on the keys. So you can actually go through and do a whole bunch of cool stuff with this thing. So let's just fire up the Flipboard Blinky option and then boom it starts doing animations it's really cool so these two buttons right here are going to change what kind of animations playing and these two are going to change the speed so we can see we can just go through here and there's a bunch of cool different things it does you can have your own little rave with it like it's it's really cool i like this thing i know it's just colors but it's it's super fun, especially because how clicky these keys are. I don't know if you can hear with the noise gate, but it's so satisfying to play around with it. Now, these apps are all brand new. I think Derek made them like a week ago, so they're all still in progress, but it gives you a really good idea of kind of what it does. And again, this is just kind of a show off mode for it. There's not a huge amount of functionality, but honestly, I still really like playing with it. If I'm being totally honest. I can do this all day. So let me show off the next feature of it. So this is going to be the Flipboard keyboard app. So this thing actually has a ton of really good function. So what the Flipboard keyboard app actually does is effectively turn this thing into a macro pad because each of these buttons can be set up as a macro to run things on your computer. All you gotta do is plug it into USB-C, and then yeah, when you press these buttons, it'll run code on your computer. What's also cool is that it's not just the individual buttons, you can do combinations of buttons. So you'll see there's actually 15 different actions that you can program. It's really, really cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna configure action one, um, it's going to press color, so it's going to turn cyan, okay, and then red when I release, that works fine. It does actually play a music note when you press the button, that's fun too. Um, we can configure a message, so you can basically make it so when you press a button, it'll actually type out a message, which is fun too. For now, all we're going to do is we're going to switch this keystroke over to the tilde over here. Not the tilde, the one of the apostrophes. I never know what this button is, but it's on the same button as tilde. And what that is, is actually that is the macro that controls my camera. So when I'm recording, I use that button to start and stop my camera. You can also change the count. So it can actually press that button multiple times and you can add more keystrokes to it as well. So you could make it so it would be the tilde and then the exclamation point if you wanted to. There's so many options. It's really, really cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab my USB-C cable. It's plugged into my computer. 
slam that in there. And then if we go back into the Flipboard keyboard right here, then you'll see this button we just programmed is now red. If we go ahead and press the red button. Okay, slight oversight there, guys. Um, let's program another button to do not that, and I'll show you exactly what it does. All right, so now you can see that we have another button on here, and this one, when we press it, it changes colors, and it actually makes a little bit of a noise. It's, I'm pretty sure you can't hear it, but it plays a note at the same time, which is really cool. Also, I programmed it to do something else on my screen, so I'll show you a little pop-up of what's actually happening when I press this button. All right, so we've got Notepad open right now, and when I press this key, you can see it types in a fun little message. Don't be a skid. It's super, super cool. I love this thing. But yeah, you can see it's all up to your creativity. There's so many cool things you can do with this, but guess what? I'm not even done yet. Let me disconnect this from USB because I don't need that and show you the last app right now. And they're writing apps daily for this. Well, not daily, but you know what I mean. They're actually actively working on apps for this. Now the last app is Flipboard Signal. So we can load this up and now you can see that our lights light up again. And what this is actually doing is these now are shortcut keys to running sub gigahertz signals, which is really cool. So you can see right now we can actually configure all four of those just kind of like they were before. Right now, the buttons are hard coded to certain functions that will change very soon. Again, this is a really, really new project. So when we go back to the main menu, we can go to Flipboard Signal. Now, we didn't like program any of the colors yet, which is actually going to be useful for this example because there's really bright and it's hard to see with my camera. But these first two buttons are actually running, uh, I believe it's a Princeton, um, I'm not sure if it's a garage door opener, but they're hard coded to things. But I can actually show you on another flipper that these things work. So let's grab this guy and let's hop into the sub gigahertz scanning app. Okay, as awkward as humanly possible, we have both of these. When I press this button, it's actually picked up right here on my other flipper. So you can see they're programmed to run those sub gigahertz frequencies. Really, really cool. Now these last two buttons, I actually programmed myself to do something else. I'm gonna switch cameras and I'll show you what that is. The reason why I love this project so much is it really inspires you to kind of mess around with it. There's so many cool things you can do. So what I did was I actually did go in and kind of change some of the coding and I made it do this. So when I press the buttons, I can now control my light behind me, which is just really kind of cool. Honestly, though, the best thing about this project is that the buttons can do almost anything. You're only limited by your own creativity. Derek had mentioned wanting to do some sort of like Guitar Hero style game with it. And then it got me thinking, why not Simon? That would be such a simple game to program and it would be really, really fun. You gotta repeat the patterns of colored lights and sounds. The longer you play, the more challenging the pattern gets. I mean, this thing's already fun to fidget with here. Let me disconnect it and see, I can start pressing buttons and you can hear like soothing ASMR. <laughs> So yeah, that's the Flipboard by Make It Hacken and Coding Done by Derek Jameson. Link down below for Make It Hacken's Tindy store. These things are actually on sale for Black Friday until tomorrow. So check the date of the video to find out if it's still on sale. Also, definitely check out Make It Hacken and Derek Jameson's YouTube channels. They are absolutely fantastic. Those guys are awesome. Got any cool ideas for the Flipboard? Well, put them in the comments down below. I know Make It Hacking and Derek Jameson will see them and maybe it'll work into production. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how I'm doing. You guys are absolutely awesome and this community is huge and getting bigger by the day. You guys are legends. We're gonna catch you next time.